Moment on DCTV. Hi, I'm Alvin Jones, and today it is my pleasure to introduce to you Ms. Andrea Thomas with UPO, which stands for, you know what it means. United, United Planning, Planning Organization. Organization. UPO has been such a part of the Washington, D.C. area and helping let people know what you guys do, because I think there's some people who know about UPO, and sure. then you guys do so many things. We tear down barriers to help build people up. And one of the ways that we improve the lives of community members is by connecting them to opportunities for career stability and career advancement through our nationally certified training program. You help people get good jobs, not just a job, but a good job. Recently, uh, a gentleman, Michael, who was inca incarcerated for 40 years, came home with a real vision for a restart for his future. He came to UPO and worked with our Workforce Institute, got training, we helped him secure a job with the Environmental Protection Agency, and within six months, he was a lead supervisor there. Uh, and now he has a vision for this being his career where he stays for the rest of his life. And I say when determination meets opportunity, that's how hope is made. If a person has determination and they want something, if they come to UPO, they're gonna get that opportunity. Absolutely, we open the door to opportunity, whether it's again through our portfolio of trainings, which include IT, um, culinary arts, hospitality, plumbing, uh, electrical, they're able to get that. But also we have programs that really do focus on the whole family. We're the largest early Head Start provider in the city. Uh, we have programs for youth and we even have programs for senior citizens 55 and above in our foster grandparent program. How do we get the secret out? Let's, <laughs> let's talk about that. You can learn more at www.upo.org, so we invite you to do that. But we also invite you, if you'd like to have um, a visit or a tour of our facilities, that's something that we're always open to doing. Well, it's hard to have a secret when you invite people in. <laughs> so <laughs> I guess the secret's out. Absolutely. We what are some out. of the challenges that you have right now, especially with COVID-19? With COVID-19, one of the challenges, obviously, as many people have, is the teleworking. We are a human services agency, and so we like to be hands-on with the people who come through our doors. But even in spite of that, we have provided child care to the families, of, to the children of first responders. We are still uh, handing out food in the local community at our PD Green Center. We're still providing tax support to individuals in the community. So we are still out there on the job front line. But of course, that's been curtailed a bit because of COVID. As it relates to social justice, obviously we see how there is a link between social justice and poverty, and quite frankly, racism in this country. And so our focus, again, is to remove barriers. And if that barrier is speaking up about racism and about institutional racism that keeps folks from moving forward, that also is a part of what we do through our advocacy work. Well, one of the things I really appreciate that UPO does is that you provide opportunities. Like you said, you had a gentleman who was incarcerated and right. because he had that right attitude, you had the supplies and, and the resources for him to do that. So folks, I'm just saying right now, if it's something that you want, there's no longer a secret of how to get it. Remember right. they used to talk about the secret? <laughs> you know, people go like, what's the secret? The secret is UPO. Absolutely, thank you. Andrea Thomas, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me, it has been my distinct pleasure. Check out UPO, United Planning Organization. This has been another Impact Moment. I'm Alvin Jones on DCTV.